Premier Doug Ford's progressive conservatives have ended the lengthy strike at York University. The Tories used their large majority in the House to push through back-to-work legislation that orders almost 2,000 teaching on graduate assistants back on the job after a dispute dating to March 5. York University contract faculty go on strike after negotiations broke down on March 5, 2018. The strike has been ended with back-to-work legislation, Steve Russell, Toronto Star, Our government was clear, the people of Ontario couldn't afford to wait, and that's why our government, under the leadership of Premier Ford, acted immediately to get down to business and brought in our Urgent Priorities Act. We have hit the ground running. Government House leader Todd Smith said Wednesday, the people of Ontario spoke. They wanted us to clean up the hydro mess. That's what we are doing on this side of the house, said Smith, referring to the omnibus bill that also tackles Hydro One executive compensation and cancels a controversial wind turbine project in Prince Edward County. But ending York's dispute with members of the Canadian Union of Public Employees Local 3903, which has affected 37,000 students, was the most pressing concern. Article continued below, we needed to get the kids back in class at York University. That's what we're going to do, said the House leader. The strike began after six months of negotiations and 27 face-to-face -face meetings between York and Cube 3903 failed to produce an agreement. The university and the union also met after the strike began, including several meetings led by William Kaplan and later, with Kevin Burkett, a second mediator jointly agreed to buy Cube 3903 in York. On June 16, contract faculty in CUPE 3903 Unit 2, representing 1,100 contract faculty, voted to accept York's offer and return to work. However, CUPE 3903 Unit 1, representing 1,900 teaching assistants, and CUPE 3903 Unit 3, representing 130 graduate assistants, remained on strike. Under former Premier Kathleen Wynne, the previous Liberal government tried to pass back-to-work legislation before the June 7 election, but efforts were thwarted by the New Democrats. The NDP opposed the Tory move as well, blaming the almost five-month dispute on the Liberals' level of funding of post-secondary education, with the Liberal government over the last 15 years not funding universities appropriately, it has led to difficulties with universities being able to find the ability to meet their budgets, their requirements, and so as a result tuition fees have gone up and strikes have become more frequent, said NDP leader Andrea Horwath. Article continued below, what the government needs to do is fund our universities properly and instead they've trampled on the rights of these workers and we'll see if they end up going to court as a result of that, said Horwath. There has been no negotiated settlement. So the two sides have not come together, which means that that is going to lead to a poisoned work environment, she said. I'm sure that that will impact the students and the learning environment as well, and it's not going to be. A pleasant place. Proceedings in the legislature were twice disrupted Wednesday as Q protesters voiced their displeasure from the public galleries. Despite that, the vote easily passed 69 to 40. Afterward, Ford announced the legislature will continue sitting this summer for two to three more weeks as we continue moving this province forward. We appreciate that Premier Ford and his government have made it possible to end the strike and allow our students to return to their studies, said Rhonda L. Lenton, York University's President and Vice-Chancellor. We look forward to welcoming our CUPE 3903 colleagues back and coming together to provide students access to a high-quality, research-intensive learning experience. Robert Benzie is the Star's Queen's Park Bureau Chief and a reporter covering Ontario politics. Follow him on Twitter, at Robert Benzie.